Do you wish you could produce your fire risk assessment reports on site instead of creating them in the office or at home late at night? Well, with Pocket Survey, you can, and you'll really enjoy using it too. This fantastic software runs on all devices, including iPads, iPhones, Android tablets, and web browsers, and, of course, Android phones. My name is Henry from the UK, and I'm going to show you how easy this surveying software is to use. So grab a coffee and enjoy. Let's look at the Buildings List screen. The menu at the top left lets you choose more advanced features, such as a calendar, maps for directions, job progress, client details, and much more. More about these other features later. Let's get back to the Buildings List. The Buildings List shows your building addresses organized by town, along with a thumbnail of the building photo. On the right are two icons, one to generate your report, and another to display your report as a PDF. You can create a new inspection by selecting the large plus icon at the bottom right of the screen. Let's look at the Building Details screen. To see the full building details, tap on a building in the list, where you will see a front page photo. As you scroll further down, you will see the fire risk summary, such as likelihood, consequences, building fire strategy, actions and timescales and so on. Just below the building photo are icons for everyday actions. You can add new fire risk assessment items for the building by using the add item icon. The copy building icon duplicates just the building details to a new inspection. You generate a PDF fire risk assessment report by selecting the create report icon. Once your report is ready to view, the open report icon will be displayed to the right, allowing you to open the fire risk inspection report as a PDF. Then you can save it to your device or cloud storage for sharing with your client or team members. This is an example of the fire risk assessment report. Your logo and address are at the top of the front page. Optional trade logo at the bottom. Then you've got a table of contents. You can modify your custom phrases for the introduction and other report pages within the app setup. There's an inspection overview section followed by building and additional information sections that you can configure within the app. The fire risk overview shows the important information for responsible persons. There is an optional color-coded section explaining the risk assessment calculation matrix. A summary of all the major fire risk issues is shown as a separate report section. Then, an assessment of each section of Pass 79 is shown in detail for multiple identified locations in the building. It highlights customizable lists of requirements, compliances, non-compliances, and, importantly, actions. You capture up to eight photos per item. If you have the optional Costed Works add-on, there's a breakdown of individual works. There's a handy set of pages summarizing the fire safety guidelines for your client. Towards the end of the report, you have a disclaimer, limitations, and quality assurance statement sections. Finally, you have multiple annotated floor plans. Book a demo or watch one of our webinars if you want a more detailed explanation. Back to the app. If you select the pencil icon, you can edit the building inspection details in a scrollable form. When you inspect a building, you will enter information about multiple building fire risks. So, let's look at the fire risk items list. The screen shows all the fire risk items assessed during your inspection. Near the top, you can see a color-coded compliance rating of the fire risk item, such as compliant or non-compliant. Use the pencil icon to the right to edit the details of the item. The large plus icon at the bottom right adds new fire risk items to the building. Let's now look at the fire risk item details screen. Overlaid on the item photo is the description of the fire risk element and its compliance status. As you scroll further down, you will see more fire risk details, such as requirements, compliances, non-compliances, recommended actions, and free format notes. Just below the photo are icons for everyday actions, such as adding remedial works from a schedule of rates. So far, I've only covered the essential features in this quick software tour, but I'll quickly go through some of the other valuable features. It's helpful to cross-reference your reports with your clients and your assessors. You have a handy list of all the clients you have worked for, where you can see their contact details and see the reports you have produced for them. Similarly, you have a list of users of the software with their contact details. Plus, you can easily see all the reports they have produced. You can plan and view your assessments with the handy built-in jobs calendar. This gives you an excellent overview of your workload, especially if you have a team of assessors. It's color-coded by the assessor's name. You can view your calendar by day, week, or month. 
use the arrows on either side of the date to navigate the calendar. Now, the useful maps dashboard lets you preview the location details of all the buildings you've put in the system. The location of your building is visible on the map as a red pin alongside your building thumbnail. You can select the address to open the building details page directly. You can filter the list of buildings shown on the map by doing a free format search using the spyglass icon. The job progress screen makes organizing and managing your inspection jobs simple. There are three types of progress screens. The left side of the screen shows a pipeline of your reports according to their status. The middle part of the screen shows the inspections in date order. The inspection time is shown on the right of the building address. On the right, you can see any reports that still need completing. This PS Cloud app is very customizable. You can control the app by turning features on and off to suit your workflow. For example, if you don't want to use Action Priority, you can turn it off by changing it from Yes to No. You can design this survey template to suit your own surveying needs by modifying almost all the menus and checklists used in the app. You can also change the way your reports look directly in the app. Easily modify the report headings and boilerplate phrases and even stop certain report sections from appearing in the final report. Finally, the help and support pages give you quick and easy access to resolve your troubleshooting issues directly within the app. Help topics are divided into sections where you can read answers to the most common questions that arise when using the app. Just tap or click a relevant topic to open the detailed help page. We've included lots of helpful tips and tricks in the help pages making your experience of the app enjoyable. Hopefully, you have seen how the PS Cloud Fire Risk Assessment software will save you time and help you achieve faster results. Thanks for watching. Please get in touch or book an online demonstration with our team if you want to know more. Just hop over to our website and apply for a low-cost software trial now. There's a link to a contact form on our website down below. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of new videos and surveying apps as they come out. That's all for now. See you next time.